we are at the property on Wisconsin. This is the before rehab video. Uh, this is in Benton Park, right over there. If you see that red flag, that's Cherokee Street, the Antiques Row District. Uh, there are some vacant properties right around here, but I wouldn't worry about them. Uh, I'm sure they'll be bought up and rehab here within the next year. Um, and really the people that are gonna move in this area don't really mind unless they're just you know god awful looking but you've got some nice homes right next to it that's actually go brand go which is a pretty uh, well established business here in town well, let's, let's take a look at the property the outside's in good shape need some paint on the outside a little bit of tuck pointing not much uh, see if I can get you around back here the gate's kind of tricky there we go. It already has new windows on it. Just need to paint the tuck pointing. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little bit on the very top on the parapet that we need to do. A little bit here and there. So the back, there's not much we would do back here. My thought is to get rid of that beat up shed. There's already a parking pad, but it's gravel. I thought maybe we would put concrete down, but I think it's probably better to keep it as gravel because we got these roots right here. I don't want to pour concrete over the roots and I don't want to take out the tree. So I think the gravel would work. A little deck area on back, just need some touch up. Um, clean all this up a little bit over here. What I want to do is uh, bring the concrete out this way to make this a more square pad for you know a table or whatever you can see it already has two air conditioners that look relatively new and in decent shape I think we can keep them as well as the furnace in the basement here's where the service comes in uh, we do need another 200 amp service or we have 100 amps now it needs to be 200 so hopefully we can keep that there without moving it I'm thinking we probably could, but they may want to move it closer towards the back of the house just because um, they like to come up with new stuff every now and then. So we'll work the concrete here. I'll paint these. I have a nice mosaic platform here. We'll probably keep both doors as usual with the duplexes. Um, again, this used to be a duplex. We're going to turn it in a single family. So you come in the front. We'll do hardwood floors throughout. We're going to open this up a little bit. We're going to open this up one step. You can see the stairs behind there. We're going to open it up to expose one step just to make that a little bit wider. We've got this entranceway here into the dining room. It's four feet wide now. Um, my thought is to keep it, but it may look better if we widen it to maybe six to eight feet. But right now I'm leaning towards keeping that the way it is. So you come in here into the dining room. You can see straight ahead that goes to the kitchen. I want to at least open this door up to about four feet, which would bring this over to about six inches to where that is and then this would come over about six inches so if we keep it open this to four feet would be the same entrance way as this one which might look good and then that would still let you see into the kitchen a little bit more so right now I have it set up to have the bathroom full bathroom off of the dining room which is great and all, but we don't need that. We don't want it off the dining room. So they have this closet here. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna wall that off so you won't see the door anymore. And then this will be the entranceway to the bathroom. You come through here, turn left, and there's the door to the bathroom. Turn right, and there's a little closet. So this would be a half bath downstairs. So again, coming through the kitchen, if you can imagine, this would be a little bit more open. Toying with the idea of taking out this part of the wall, 
and then we'll put in a little bar area right here, but I'm thinking probably not. We'll probably just widen this doorway, put new tile down in the kitchen, and then we'll keep the layout the same. I kind of toyed with the idea of putting a little island here, uh, but I'm thinking not. We could possibly do like a little uh, uh, mobile one with wheels, but probably not. We'll probably just keep it the same, put some real nice stuff in. If we do that, that leaves this little area for a little table, which I think is pretty cool. And then this again will be opened up to about right there where that finger is and about right there. So it'll open it up a little bit. Got a door to the backyard and then we have these stairs that go up to the second floor. We're going to take this stairs out and wall this off. And you'll see why later because this stairway is going to be the master closet. But there's still a back door outside here so you can actually use this as storage which will be good since we're getting rid of the shed. Another thing cool about the kitchen it's got this big old pantry here that's nice then you come down to the basement uh, I think we can do a little bit with this basement. They come down, uh, go straight and then left, you get to your mechanical area. Water heater seems to be in good shape. Right there is where your uh, washer and dryer go. There's your furnace. Looks to me to be pretty new. Uh, and then there is the electric panel that's only 100 amps. So that needs to be 200. Uh, we got one furnace, you can see we got two line sets going in there, so I don't know how that works, but that's why we pay the heat and air guys. So this part here used to be an apartment at some time, it seems. This is where I get a little lost. Um, if you can see, there's a bathroom down here and a hot tub. Of course, we're getting rid of the hot tub. Uh, I'd like to keep this bathroom if possible. If not, we can just take it out and then it goes straight back into this room, which I would like to keep as a bedroom or, you know, another, you know, uh, entertainment room or whatever. So, if we're going to keep that bathroom, or at least make it into a half bath, we need to move this wall, which is where the extra expense would come in. Because we'd have to move that wall about maybe two feet this way. See where the shelves are? We'd have to move it to about where those shelves are right there. And then we'd have to frame this out, you know, to make it a bathroom. And then this door then would be over here. And yes, that's a shower. So we can do that, have a bathroom downstairs, and then we would leave this wall, just move the door, and then that would give you a, a fourth bedroom down in the uh, basement. Or we can open it all up and it'll be like a, you know, a TV room or whatever. So we have some options down here. We'll put tile down on the floor most likely. Uh, yeah. Let's go upstairs. Again, you see that's too narrow. So we'll widen that, expose one step. These stairs going up to the second floor, you can see they turn to the left. What I want to do is I want to keep them going straight, and you'll see why. I want them to go straight, and then we're going to have a hallway going down the end. So just imagine that as we walk up. We would keep going straight, and we'd get to a landing, and we would turn around. This would be walled off right here. Pretend it's a sheetrock. You turn around the landing, come down to your left and you get 
to this bedroom. 